because we have two significant figures, they're equal. Um, this is the small range, or the small town one for both of the upper operating ranges. And as you can see, they're, they do not have two significant figures. So you can see the difference between each one of the 2500 from the critical we pay more. And this is a bar graph showing the KC critical band for averages of each value of tau. This is a small tau average compared to the uh, normal tau average <coughs> compared to the uh, large average compared to the proportional control. This is the KC quarter band for uh, averages of the tau. We have the small, the normal, the large, and the proportional controller. Notice that these three are very similar. And the uh, small fails to meet the other three. This is the KC ultimate value for the large tau. Uh, this is the average of the two small tau. ratios for the proportional controller. Um, here are the values for the KC for each Ziegler and the normal KC quarter decay and KCU and the ratio. I've been told that these need to be one over this, one over that, and one over that. And then these are the Ziegler and Nichols ratios for the proportional integral controllers. And similar things. These probably should be averaged together. And these should be one over this, one over this, and one over this. This <coughs> one. This is an example of the proportional integral control experiments that were settling time here, the delta R change in the set point, this is the initial set point, final set point, and you can see how it ramps up after the set point is changed. This is the normal case, or the the normal tau value for a critical damp KC for this lower operating range. And this is a small value of, or no, a normal value of tau i for the other, for the upper range, or middle range, with a small critical damp. Value of KC. <coughs> this is the uh, order KC value with the normal tau one 
with the small range. And this is the middle range with the quarter KC with the normal tau. This is the small range with normal tau with a KCU. Similarly to the previous slide, except the range is middle range. These are the, we're starting into the larger values of tau 1. This is the critical damp with the small range. This is the critical damp with the medium range. This is the quarter with the low range. This is the quarter with the <coughs> medium range. This is the ultimate range, or the ultimate KC value with a high tau for the lower range. Similarly, high tau I for the medium range with KCU. This is the small, we're getting into the small taus now, and we have KC critical damp for the lower operating range. <coughs> for the medium operating range, we have KC critical damp with a small value of tau. Small tau of KC quarter decay with small range. Medium range Order K, KC, and small tau. Small tau, KCU for the small or the lower operating range. Small value of KCU with small tau I and medium operating range. And these are the PIC experiment results. Because it's a proportional integral controller, there is no offset, and there is a smaller oscillation for, for a higher value of tau 1. And you can see the settling time for each value of tau 1 with each value of Kc for each range. As you can see, with the uh, higher values of tau i, the never oscillation becomes more prominent the higher the KC value. 